Hello everybody and a warm welcome to the latest episode of J-League Monthly. Well, I say warm, but we're here in a chilly Sapporo up in the north and today we're bringing you a special report from the magnificent Sapporo Dome. For the last J-League Monthly of the year, we bring you a special report from the game between Hokkaido Konsadole Sapporo and Urawa Reds on the final match day in J1. As well as being a Thai derby between Superchok and Ekanet, the game also brought the curtain down on the career of the legendary Shinji Ono, a player who achieved fantastic success at home and abroad, as well of course for the Japan national team. And finally, we'll bring you the latest Super Play Best 5. はい、大事な試合ですね。この選手の最後の試合で、いや、どうしてもみんな高くて、軽くこに来ました。はい。最近はあの対人選手も活躍してますけど、はい。今スーパーチョップっていうの選手を。ああ、どうですか。タイの選
Okay, we've had 20 minutes and that's it for Ono Shinji today and that's it for Ono Shinji's career. Uh, applause spreading around the stadium as you'd expect and it looks like both teams are going to perform a guard of honour, something extremely rare. Um, so um, here we go, Super Choc is going to be coming on with Thai style so we are going to get the Thai derby that we weren't sure we were going to get. Super Choc against uh, Enkanit Tanya will be coming up but for now we've got the red players in the sky blue and the Sapporo players in the red and black giving Shinjono a warm farewell, handshakes all round, a hug from the Urawa goalkeeper Shusa Kanishikawa and that's it for Shinjono. Whole stadium applauding an absolute legend of the Japanese game and that's his shift today just about 20 minutes on the pitch a couple of times he looked like he could break forward almost play the final ball but at 44 years old obviously the 90 minutes was just beyond him and um, full credit to, to Sapporo to Mihailo Petrovic for giving him this occasion Ono now making his way back down to the bench Super Choc is coming on and we still have 70 minutes of action here ahead of us Right, okay, we had a bit of drama early in the second half. Um, you know, our Reds have been awarded a penalty for a handball. A uh, referee was asked to go check it on his monitor. He's done that, he's upheld his own decision. They've agreed that it was a handball. And now Alexander Schultz, um, you know, our solid Danish centre-back, already their second top scorer with six goals this season, many of them from the spot. He stood over the ball, a couple of steps. Alex Schultz puts it away nice and comfortably, bottom right corner. The visitors are one nil up, but our Reds take the lead. Okay, 72 minutes played and Urawa Reds have just doubled their lead through Shoya Nakajima, who I'm sure fans, international fans will know of from his time spent in various countries outside of Japan. Former Japan number 10, of course, as well. Uh, found some space in the penalty area, coolly slotted down into the bottom corner. Reds now 2-0 up. ก็วันนี้ก็ก็ถือว่าเป็นเกมยากเราเจอซัปโปโรแล้วแล้วก็แต่เราก็เก็บ <coughs> ก็ส่วนตัวรู้สึกว่ามันก็ทําได้ได้ดีทั้งนะในในรูปเกมของในวันนี้นะครับแต่ว่าด้วยผลสกอร์ที่ออกมาเราแพ้อย่างน้อย
北海道の皆さん、北海道コンサドーレ札幌クラブ、たくさんの方に僕は支えられて、このピッチに立てる今日がありました。僕自身はこれからも変わらずサッカーを愛し、楽しんでサッカーを続けていくので、これからもどうぞよろしくお願いします。今日はありがとうございました。Okay, so that is the 2023 J League season done and dusted, but the football hasn't stopped just yet. Coming up, we have the J League Asia Challenge, with some J League teams will be taking on Southeast Asian opposition, and of course, there's the big game on New Year's Day, where Japan national team is going to be taking on Thailand at Japan National Stadium in Tokyo. I think it's a good thing to see the team that we have seen in Japan, and the team that we have seen in Japan, and the team that we have seen in Japan, and the team that we have ทำทำให้เต็มที่ก็เป็นเกมที่ที่น่าจะเป็นเกมที่สนุกอีกเกมหนึ่งเราได้ได้ได้วัดกับทีมที่มีคุณภาพอย่างญี่ปุ่นก็ถือว่าเป็นประสบการณ์ที่ดี And just like that we're done That's the final J League monthly for this season Thank you so much for joining us from all around the world this year We look forward to seeing you next year for more fantastic J League action And of course we wouldn't leave you without showing you the latest Super Play Best Five アウェイで本当に難しいゲームでしたけど、えー、まずは自分としては夜に抑える仕事ができていると思います。まあ、味方があのしっかりとボールに対して寄せてくれたのと、まあ、僕自身もまあ攻められている難しいシーンでありましたけど、まあ、落ち着いて対応できたことが、えー、成分につながったと思います。